Thank you. You have a pleasant evening. I will. We will. Thank you very much. So, the stage is all set, is it? What did I do in a former life to deserve this? That's exactly what I was thinking, Donnie. <sighs> well, did you follow Liza here? Well, how could I? She isn't here. You know she's meeting me here. Oh, you're deluding yourself, Jake. How could Liza possibly walk away from all that Adam has to offer, hmm? Stick around, Miriam. I mean, your charms are quite obvious, even more than tempting. But precious gems and cold, hard cash don't wither away with time and age, you know? Oh, lovely choice, darling. You know, I hate to burst your bubble, darling, but Liza won't be meeting you for dinner tonight. You have a better offer? A life without love? A man without a heart? The heart's an organ. Beats out of habit. But mine runs on courage and instinct. It may miss a beat now and then, but it keeps going. As for love? Well, it, 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 it ain't no dew-laden four-petal flower, honey. She loves me, she loves me not, she loves me. What all the petal pluckers and star wishers made in Jake Martin's image, I say go to hell! But for the fire breathers and the risk players. I say step right up. Take a chance. What have you got to lose? Who are you? Don't you know? and raid his wine cellar while you still have the chance. Oh, and leave you all alone while your heart's about to be shattered? Darling, you might need a shoulder to cry on. Yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> You'd be surprised. How maternal I could be, darling. Get out, Marion. Oh, you silly, self-righteous twerp. If it weren't for you, Liza could be reveling in pure bliss right now, and you'd mess up her whole marriage. A marriage? That never was a marriage. Darling, it was legal and binding, and mine is a prenuptial agreement. Now, if that it wasn't made in heaven, what was? I met Liza before she got married to Adam. And she married Adam anyway, didn't she? Why didn't you take the hint? I mean, you really are a clever young man, darling. But Adam is a seductive, powerful corporate magnet. But he's nothing but an egotistical, controlling tyrant. You know, you're just as controlling as Adam. How dare you demand that she leave her husband? I asked her to make a choice, Marion. Yes, to give up her job, give up the life she adores, well, to give... The, li the life you adore. See, that's what you don't understand. That the satin sheets on somebody else's dime, the posh restaurants, credit anywhere you want it, you snap your manicured nails and the little white aprons come a-running. What's your point here, darling? My point is, Marion, Liza is not you. She can't be bought. You think she's going to be happy living a notch above the poverty level, darling? We'll be fine. Oh, living on love? Better than living on lies. Listen to me, Jake. Liza could have it all. She could have Adam, the servants, her job, and you on the side. Is that the life you really want for her, Miriam? Your middle-class morals are quaint, darling, but it's 1997. Living in some dingy apartment on some intern's salary might sound romantic to you, but it would soon turn into a prison for Liza. <laughs> Marion, I don't know how you are her mother. It's amazing she turned out half normal. Look, listen to me, Jake. Liza is a magnet and Adam is steel. And they both go after what they want. And trust me, darling, they want each other. Really? 
Liza is declaring her independence tonight, Marion. From you, from Adam, from everyone else. We're starting our life tonight. There isn't anything you or anybody else can do about it. and Liza is nowhere in sight. Oh, where, oh, where could she be? She is on her way. Oh, yes, darling, I hope she's on her way. Right into the arms of Adam Chandler. I mean, why else would she keep you in this lovely bottle of champagne There's waiting? Plenty of reasons. People get caught in traffic. And women, thankfully, come to their senses, you know, Jake. Marion, by this time tomorrow, Liza and I will be long gone. <laughs> so for once in your sorry life, why don't you put her first? You're clueless. You are absolutely clueless. I'm speaking a foreign language to you right now because... You have no feelings for Liza. You have no feelings for anyone but yourself. Goodbye, Marion. Oh, Lord. My children will be back in a moment here on ABC. So, so there has been no reported accidents. What about um, like, like stranded motorists or anything like that? You're sure? Okay. Um, well, can you do me a favor? Check all the routes between uh, Pine Valley and the Sleepy Hollow Inn. You, I see. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't. If if she doesn't show up, I'll. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thank you. Where the hell are you, Eliza? guard oh well hallelujah you mean liza finally saw the light well, something's wrong something's right where are you going I'm now i'm gonna go find her
Oh my god. 